director Michael Orakas, trustees, faculty members, family, friends, and fellow graduates. It is an utmost honor for me to deliver the valedictorian speech today. We have so much to be thankful for. Amidst COVID situation, our college and its staff went above and beyond. They tried to give us a taste of in-person college experience in a remote course. They considered the time zones of remote students while setting class timetables. They worked on every detail possible to ensure an excellent student life for us. They even reached out to me to tutor my fellow students, which I really enjoyed during. It's a great idea to make students help fellow students and juniors. We have received an excellent education thanks to our college administration and teachers. We are now prepared to move on and take on whatever challenges that come in our lives. Let me reflect on four things that made my journey memorable at Lambton College. Firstly, what inspired me to, to start my journey? As many of us might have done, my journey began two years ago when I decided to do my higher studies in Canada. I first heard about Lambton College from my colleague Bhargava over tea during my break time at work in India. He told me about the opportunities that Indian students can get after studying in Canada. It was an eye-opening moment for me. I did my research and wrote my IELTS exam in March 2020 with huge dreams and desire to come to Canada and achieve my life-changing goals. I applied to Lambton College for its winter intake. After hearing about all the positive feedback from its alumni and researching about their post-college life, this is the only college I applied for. And secondly, it was the uncertainties. Little did I know about the COVID-19 and its impacts which were going to take place. I got my offer letter from a college in June 2020, stating that my joining date would be in September of the same year. The college also mentioned that the course would be remote for the first semester. I did not have a visa back then. It was uncertain if the rest of the semesters would be remote as well. It was the time even when the governments were unsure about the student visas. Many advised me to either postpone my joining date or to drop the plan until the COVID-19 situation resides. With many uncertainties, I still decided to proceed against all the odds to do my course remotely thinking about a quote by Elon Musk. The quote goes, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. So I thought that if I do best in the variables that I could control, the outcome would still be favorable to me. Thirdly, it was the struggles and how I overcame them. It happened in two phases. Phase one was back in India and the other phase of struggle was after I came to Canada. In phase one, I did two semesters online. Even though I studied remotely from a third world country, I still had reliable internet connections and other facilities. However, my place was prone to natural calamities at that time. I remember when my city was flooded, I had no electric power. I had Python coding midterm test that day and had to connect with my slow mobile internet data. The test lasted one hour but my laptop had a charge left for another 30 minutes. It was one hell of an examination. It pushed me to my limits to finish the test in 30 minutes. I can never forget that day. I had to use slow mobile internet data to listen to college lectures during power cuts on few other days. However, luckily our college provided recorded lectures which made my job easy. Thanks to our college for handling that edge case. In phase two, I came to Canada at the end of second semester and I had to deal with expenses, homesickness, and tight schedules with work as well as with studies. I had to allocate time to talk to my parents and my girlfriend, who is now my wife. I married her this month. And for those who think that relationship could be a hindrance, no, it does not. Having a good comrade will enhance your strength to handle tough times. Luckily, I mastered compartmentalization at this point. This is one of the most important tips I learned after coming to Canada. If it weren't for compartmentalizing things, I would have messed up everything. I would have left, uh, let one problem affect another one. Also, I was lucky to have two great friends, Bargava and Thiru. 
From Bargava, I learned that if I helped others, they would help us even more. He was one of the reasons for me to be here in Canada. From Tiru, I always had a healthy competition in college. He taught me how to stay calm in stressful situations. It is important to have like-minded friends who challenge us to bring the best out of us. My mother and my father were very supportive and were kind of parents who asked me to study less and not to strain. Not the usual Asian parents stereotype. Fourthly, it was my goal and triumphs which made my journey more memorable. I knew I was taking a huge risk by quitting a high paying job in India and investing a lot in my studies in Canada without the certainty of getting a job with one goal in mind to learn and be curious. I enjoyed every obstacle as if it were an opportunity to take me to success. Looking back, I don't regret a single decision I have taken. Everything was worth it. So my fellow students, we only have one life and don't be afraid to take calculated risks. Don't hesitate to go all in. If you put your mind, body, heart, and soul on one thing, you can get whatever you want. As a result of my determination, I won the Sister College Scholarship Award, got the highest GPA, won the President Award, and I have got a high paying uh, co-op with TD Bank, and even got a return offer with them. Before starting the course, I was worried if I would get a job but after completing the course, uh, more than nine companies wanted to hire me. And also, I have been told uh, that fan companies in IT terminology always reach out to people uh, only from top tier universities. However, they reached out to me several times. I am a living example that if you put in your efforts, you can shine from any place, wherever you are. Thank you. When you leave today, celebrate what you have accomplished. But Look forward with an eye towards how you too can be an inspiration for others. Congratulations, you have made it. Thank you. <laughs>